Oh, no. Bollocks. Hello, um, welcome back my lovelies to our Let's Play of the Automation Update, following on from my first video set mainly on Glacio. Sorry for the hot entrance there, but I just, um, oh, <laughs> I tried to start the video and then I fell in a hole and then I dug, dug back up to the surface, right through the middle of my bloody archery target. God damn it. Let's ruin that then. So in this video, we'll discuss the rig on Glacio from the previous video, and move it to mine out some compound instead of some iron, and hopefully send some of it back up to Exo. And, but I also discovered, more importantly, that horns um, work with um, sensors, so, so I want to play around with the concept of that. Uh, hopefully that'll be very annoying, but hopefully we'll get some music going, which I think will be quite cool. Um, firstly though, I am on the way, I'm trying, I'm trying to get to uh, a new resin mine that I set up. That was a long time ago now, so it may actually be more than um, full up. So let's have a go. Uh, if, you, if you notice, I've actually got an, another um, RTG. I've made, a, I've crafted a few of those now, um, just to make sure that we've got plenty of power to do things like mining away. We've also got one here, and this has been mining away for a long time. It hasn't been filling up this. As someone pointed out in the comments of the previous video, um, yes, you can just put one of these on top of an extractor and it will fill up. Um, I should add, add the disclaimer at the start of this video that these long videos are meant to be me dicking about a bit, rather than any expert guidance. I have a feeling for the, from the comments of the previous video uh, that people were expecting a pristine example of mining automation, rather than me scrappily experimenting as I went. But hey ho, uh, hopefully this, will, this video will be like 80% entertainment, 10% uh, actually useful, and 10% wrong shit that I will have to apologise for in another video. Uh, hang on, let's have a look. Um, so it's actually stopped, I think. Oh, it's stopped because there's, um, there's actually no more room left. Oh, that's okay then. That's, I, I, was ho I, was, I was worried that I was going to come back here and there'd be resin scattered all over the place. Right, as soon as you take that off, yes, now it gets going again. So you don't need to worry about things like sensors turning it off when it's full then. Okay, that's good. This is, this is where we need an automation arm, obviously. But I'll just take out a bit of this for now and then... We'll save the rest till later. I just just so long as we've got st reasonably stocked up to make any platforms or whatever. Right, anything I need from the vehicle. I do need to take off the horn, because I think we will be using that. We may be using the RTGs, but I'm not quite sure yet. What I've done is um, I've crafted an absolute load of um, tables and things and auto arms for us to try and get what I want to do going. Um, it's going to be over there in the in this new district beyond the shredder. There's also, I did actually find on Glacio another horn in the distance, so I want to check that out. So we're going to make, I say, I've got this idea of making music simply by using um, storage sensors to detect when um, one of these platforms has got something in it and when it hasn't, and then hopefully that'll set off a horn. So I'm going to do a quick test to see if um, horns are actually activated by sensors. I'm going to use the atmospheric condenser so that when it finishes filling up the storage with gas, it sets off the horn. I'm just going to get this going with nitrogen. Uh, so when this storage fills up, the sensor activates, so I will need to pin this um, into the medium buggy horn and wait for it to fill and make sure it's on the right mode, full or not full. Now let's just fan you around a bit. Now since last time I have restocked on Argon back in Glacio because I realised we are out of that. I discovered we were out of that when I was trying to craft a load of RTGs and discovered we didn't have the, um, the Argon for that. Anyway, we're nearly there. So will this make the horn go off? Will I get the horn? We shall soon find out. Eventually. Yeah. It, it, it made a very, very weedy noise indeed. Right, so what we should do, I think, is first of all, experiment with just a very basic one. And what I was thinking of doing is have it so we're essentially getting two auto arms. And then just like swapping a resource backwards and forwards. And every time it goes... Hang on, let's have a go. And let's put this kind of here-ish. And that needs to spin around to there. And that will need to go in the other direction. If we put these really close together... It's almost like that condenser's still on. Yeah, very well. Put these really close together. We'll have to power this, won't we? Yes, so it'll um, it'll put that there. It'll hopefully send resources backwards and forwards using the auto arms, and then we'll use a sensor to make the horn go off. I've got the little horn. Here it is. 
And then we need, we need a resource for it to back, um, pass backwards and forwards. I mean, any, anything will do. Although, no, actually, we do need a filter, do we? otherwise it'll take the horn with it. Okay, let's grab a bunch of stuffs. It doesn't really matter what. Copper will do. Actually, no, let's, let's use the iron, because we've got so much of that from the previous video. Boop. There we go. So let's filter it, so it's just passing iron backwards and forwards. There we go, and put an iron in there. And so it'll take, put, take, put. And then, when the storage is full here... So full or not full, I think that's the one. Yes, as soon as it either puts it in there or takes it away, it should set the horn off. Now the problem is here is we will need um, we will need power. I think I'll get, I'll get the RTG. Just so we're not having wires everywhere. And I suppose it can go to somewhere over there for the time being. Uh, only, the, only the auto arms need actual power here. Ooh! Oh, I've just taken away the platform that I was using. <laughs> that was a bit dumb. Right, put that there. Here we go. So it sets off the horn every so often, but it takes a while for it to go round, doesn't it? Let's put that in a bit of a straightaway. Yeah. So, yeah, automated hornage. Uh, I think if we put another... Hang on, let's have, have we got another one? Oh, yeah, yes. If we put another one in... Maybe that'll speed things up. Yeah, that's more like it. Look, it's doing it every go now. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there. Very impressive. Now, we could probably um, improve this. and We should have the medium horn as well, which is over here. I mean, don't necessarily need to put the um the horn on the platform. It can be just out there. Oh, uh, wow! Ah! It can be very finickety sometimes. This. So what I think I'll do is I'm, I'm going to swap over the little horn um, with the medium horn. And so what I was thinking about doing is making it so we have a second set of arms. That should almost. I should about cover it. It's a bit, a bit tricky. There we go. I think that that does it. So we have another district here that actually um we'll we'll pass around some of this instead. And only do one instead of two. And then this one, this shared one, I'm hoping will we'll be able to activate something else as well. And we'll get something going. Hopefully maybe maybe get something a bit stockhausen-ish. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Right, so if we put the horn let's put the little horn here. This is what we're what we're doing previously, only Hang on, where's this other sensors? There they are. So I'll have another one. So this is going to be another storage full sensor. Full or not full, that's fine. And it now needs to pass around this. Right, here we go. So that only does it like half the time of that. But I'm ho also hoping that we might get some of the big horn lad in as well. I'm not quite sure this is well thought out, this. But we use the third the, the third and final sensor. Oh, I'm actually getting a bit low on oxygen here. That's another full one. So whenever that's double full, it'll set that off as well. It's just actually hypnotising watching everything moving around. Now there's a problem here, isn't there? I think... The, the broken rhythm. So things don't always necessarily go into the middle. So the, the big lad only occasionally goes off. I wonder why that is. I think it's because they're fighting. Oh, here we go. That, it went off then. They seem to be fighting over that one slot. When that one goes in. It, that one waits to put it in before that one takes it away. But only sometimes. See, there it works. So there's a certain amount of randomness in this. Or well, there is a there is in this I don't know. I don't know if there's a is a an actual pattern to the randomness or not, but Honk. Honk. There's also a thing that and because it puts things in and then put, takes things out again, it it plays the horn twice in succession. 
which is strange, but it also I think it adds to the flavour of it. Well, let's go to Glacio anyway, because I want to um, I want to get I'm to hopefully try and retrieve that other horn that I saw. I'm not quite sure if it's going to be possible. Oh, we're still honking away in the distance. It's the only thing you can hear. Uh, so I need them. Um, the one thing is I'm, I'm, I've, I've run desperately short on uh, the black spiky thing, <laughs> whose name I forget. Graphite. Uh, and we need a, we need that for repackages. So I may have to do some crafty trading. All right, so we're back at Glacio. Uh, so there was a, I did actually do a little bit of fiddling about with this um, after the episode that I filmed, and knowing that there was a few, quite a few other things that we could do, and so I did actually re um, redesign the base into a U shape, um, so, so it kind of like goes round, ah, it kind of goes round like this to here, and um, which did make it better because it means that you can theoretically drive the tractor up here and take this, you know, put put this onto here, and take it away, and everything will be groovy. Um, but I am going to dismantle this now because I don't need any more iron. God knows I do not need any more iron. Uh, worth pointing out that, I, yes, like, we don't need backup generators. I was fiddling around with this and just use RTGs. Um, the battery sensor and the power sensor, to hell with them, really. <laughs> yes, I need a canister. This is, what, this is the canister that had the resin in it. Um, and put it on top of there. And we're going to take the uh, auto extractor. I think there's some, I saw some, a little bit of compound up there. We don't need to set up a really long, elaborate chain this time. I'm just going to get rid of all this. Do, 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 do. Yes, this is why my videos are so long. <laughs> anyway, so I've got myself a RTG and I'll take that. Let's put that onto there. We don't need any of these sensors, really. Stop sensing things. I'll take the RTG and take it up to there, along with the auto extractor. And don't really need much else because I've got that on top of there. They'll, we, oh, we will, we will need the Exo Request platform, but whatever. Oh, before I forget, before we do any of that, I need to go and get the Orn. Because I had a very quick look around because I was actually um, just exploring the area. I went up there, found that stuff, and then I noticed there was a horn, a new horn, and which I don't think I don't know what it is, but it looked new. It looks like the fog horn, but I don't think it is. It looks peculiar. A large starship horn. Oh, that's farty. Oh, that's farty. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that is different. Excellent. Well, we'll take that back. Hopefully this will package up. Um. There. Nice. That's more like it. Put that there. Oh, we will need um, probably some oxygen at some point for this. Right. Grab and jetpack. Now I'm going to wish I... I'm going to wish I had brought more hydrants in. So somewhere around here is some compound. A few other things as well. Like I think there's some ammonium just there. There it is. It doesn't look like there's very much after all this. Oh god, that's not very much at all. Oh, it's up in the air. I don't want that. This may need to be mined out a bit. What even is that? That's not even a thing. That's just a... And that's that's that. Hmm. Well, I guess it'll have to be there then. That's good ammonium, that is. Anyway, let's grab everything else. Wherever it is. There it is. So we'll need to power this. That needs to be maybe a bit closer. Right, so that should start filling up with compound. Or well, should maybe do any of the auto arm? Um, the trouble is, I've already tested this, uh, just for other reasons, is that obviously you have to switch those... This, again, this is like input or output, and you have to keep it uh, uh, input for it to suck up the whatever you're mining. And so therefore we can't manually... or we, we can't automate it, so it, it then pulls things out of there and puts it onto there. It also needs a resource canister into there, so really... I'm thinking we, again, don't we really want that in there? We actually want it on there. And maybe then the auto arm would actually... Hang on, let's, let's put that there. Maybe the auto arm will just do its business. 
Well, it is putting it in there. So I got 9 out of 32, and then... So I got 11. Oops. <laughs> Don't want to do that. So let's have a quick check to see what we actually need here. And payload value is 11. That's not very much. 150. So yes, we don't want to send that off. So that's going to take forever. And what you really need to do, of course, is have several machines all going, feeding it into the one place. But no. Let's go back. Let's take our horn home. <laughs> well, I've been welcomed home by the horn again. You can actually hear it still. It's really going off a lot. It's going off constantly. Is something, is something broken? It's really wanting my attention. Oh! This has stopped. It's you, for whatever reason, you're not working. You've got the power. Eh. Yeah. Well, I just got s broken for whatever reason. No, no wonder the horn was complaining. Anyway, now we have um, a big lad to um, add to the mix. So this is unplanned chaos now. <laughs> like everything else was so carefully planned. I'm going to embrace the randomness. For that is almost the name of my channel. So, we are now going to pluck iron backwards and forwards from here. Let's put some... I, re I really need this graphite, but I don't care. I'm going to use it here. So we're going to pluck this backwards and forwards as well and get this to work. We also have uh, one more sensor to add to the mix. This is the one I brought back from Glacio. It's a storage sensor. Yep. Yeah, okay, I think I can put that. Oh, I need to actually fill this up because um, that needs... Otherwise it won't sense it correctly. I can put an auto arm in there just for now. It's not going to do anything. But it'll fill up the thing. So this is going to be full or not full. And if I switch these on, see what happens. I'll probably need to add another bit of iron to the mix. Oh, hello. <laughs> that was fruity. What's it doing? Uh oh, they've, they've cross-pollinated. They're, they're actually stealing from each other now. Oh, we don't want this. <laughs> that's, that's carnage. So a quick change around. I have put tungsten on this bit instead, and also made this into a larger thing. So that'll only go off... I need to actually stick to this again. That'll only go off occasionally when all three things are there. Ignore the graphite. That's just a place... That's just to fill it up. And this... Let's, let's, well, let's, see, what's let's see what happens. When, well, no, that needs to be connected up to there. That to there. That to there. That's all connected. That's all connected. That doesn't need to be connected. That is fine. Well, that's certainly something, anyway. <laughs> End.